canal, they're coming up, they're migrating north uh, up the coast, northeast up the coast. And uh, they really like the canal that concentrates uh, bait fish early in the year. And um, all of the bait and uh, a lot of the bait and a lot of the stripers that wind up all through the northeast come through that canal every spring. So it's a fantastic fishing spot. We're here in Massachusetts at the world famous Cape Cod Canal chasing striped bass. It's uh, the first week of June and um, you know it should be prime, about prime time for stripers to be moving through the canal. Uh, we flew in from Florida yesterday, came up from the office and uh, you know we were able to put in a couple hours yesterday evening. The bite was pretty good. We got three shorts and a nice you know 33, 34 inch fish and then you know we got out here real early this morning. I mean that's key you know the parking lot was full at 4.15 in the morning. Uh, sun comes up pretty early here, about five o'clock. And, you know, we only got one bite this morning, fished for a couple hours, got one bite, but it was a really good bite. You know, 35, 36 inch fish, really nice fish. We let that go, fish go to swim another day. You know, it's been, been a really good start to the trip. And, uh, you know, we'll be back out here this afternoon. So a couple things that we're looking for, you know, we rented bicycles. The great thing about the canal is you got the bike path that goes the entire length of the canal on both sides. And, you know, you can, you can get a bike with a couple rod holders, put your rods in there and kind of pedal along until you see some activity of fish, either fish breaking on the surface, you know, busting baits or birds working or maybe you just see a rip that looks really good and you can stop and fish it. Number one, I mean, obviously if you see fish, you know, busting on mackerel on the surface, you know, make a long, accurate cast to them. We've caught numerous fish that way. Some of the best fish we've caught so far this week have been like that. Um, the other thing that we're doing is we're getting here, you know, 4 a.m., you know, 4.30 a.m. when it's just first light, you know, we're trying to fish right before that low tide, you know, and the slack tide's been key. So we're basically just getting in a good area with signs of life and, you know, making some fan, some long fan casts basically um, in an area. And the biggest fish that we've caught this week, the 48 incher came doing that. Once the car current starts moving, you can, you know, work an area by casting, you know, straight out and then slowly reeling real slow and letting that plug kind of swing in the current to get on some of these you know, edges of the eddies and we've caught some fish like that too. We plan this week specifically to hit that early migration of fish when they're first moving up into New England and moving into the canal. Um, it's also the new moon for June, so it's the breaking tides. That's where the low tide in the morning is a negative low tide. It helps to trap the bait fish, uh, the tinker mackerel, the bunker, you know, the herring. It traps them here in the canal on those lower tides and the stripers really feed hard on them. And it's a good time to throw topwaters typically. Um, this week topwater was a little, the topwater bite was a little bit tough. Um, all of our bite baits came on a, you know, swimming plugs. And in particular, this plug right here. So this is the Hydro Minnow Long Cast. This is the six and three quarter inch. It weighs an ounce and three quarters and has a great weight transfer system in it. This is the green macro pattern. Uh, there's a lot of tinker mackerel in the canal right now, and the big fish have jumped all over this. We've caught over 15 fish on this bait right here in the last couple days. Very simple, you know, setup. We've got you know, 40 pound Yozuri Super Braid in the white color. Uh, we've got 40 pound Yozuri Top Knot Fluorocarbon Leader. Extremely durable. You know, we haven't retied one time in the last three days. Over 16 fish, you know, three fish over 40 inches, all on the same leader, all on the same plug and same braid. Good thing about this plug too is 3X hooks, you don't have to switch them out. You know, we've got, like I said, three fish over 40 inches, no issues on the hooks, putting a lot of heat on them with 40 pound braided line. Um, the key thing about this bait for this week for us, one, it matches the hatch with the Tinker Mackerel, but two, it's castability. You know, Minnow baits are, are tough to get a heavy, one that's heavy enough to cast into the wind. The big thing with this, with that weight transfer system in it, you can really shoot it through the wind. 
the first couple days it's been 15 to 25 mile an hour winds and a lot of the guys on the canal typically throw some jointed baits by some other companies those baits are tough to throw even without wind but when there's a strong wind like that it makes it almost impossible for those baits to to get the distance you need you know the hydro minnow lc is something we've seen in a lot of our other videos on yozuri's youtube page whether we've been in panama catching tunas whether we've been down in Florida in the winter catching, you know, big jack crevals and, and bluefish. I mean, it's just an all around bait you can use in a lot of places. It's just a great bait, very versatile, um, and it's one of my favorite overall baits that we make as a company. Uh, they're at Red Top, they're at Canal Bait and Tackle, they're at your big box locations in the area. Um, you can find them at just about any retailer uh, in the area, and you can find them online as well. Come in two sizes, six inch, six and three quarters, ounce and three quarters. For the canal, I would definitely recommend the larger size. Um, so a couple of the key colors for this area are obviously bone, it's very popular around here, but my favorite is the green mackerel, especially with all the tinker mackerel in the canal right now. It's a perfect match to the, to the you know, the bait fish that the stripers are feeding on, and it's been really successful for us. If you like land fishing, this is one of the best, you know, in my opinion, it's, it's the best place to catch big stripers from land anywhere in the Northeast. Uh, if you've never been here before, highly recommend it.